Korea was a land in turmoil. It was occupied by the Japanese Empire in the early 1900s. Due to the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Korea was finally free. During this time, Cheong Hee, later founder of Taekwondo, was forced to serve in the Japanese military. Communism, however, spread, and North Korea, led by Kim Jong il, started the Korean War. General Choi was one of the founders of the South Korean army at this time. During the war, he decided it was time to create a national martial art with a strong code of ethics that is now known as Taekwondo. This art was scientifically developed using the principles and the law of motions. Precise, accuracy, harness of momentum, and devastating kicks were the principles of this newborn martial art. After sent to exile elsewhere due to a conflict with the president, General Choi spread this art all over the world. Its main influence was in the United States. Currently, over 80 million people practice this art with 4 million black belt holders. It is also included as one of the Olympic sports. So how exactly did a no-name soldier come to create the most popular martial art of the world? If you want to find out, you should read his memoir, named Memoirs of General Che Hong in Volumes 1 and 2, Motherland, The Land in Turmoil, and Volume 2, Every Place Under Heaven is a Dojo. Anyhow, this is a great memoir to read, if you want to know about Korea and take on the- Take my word for it. Take my word for it. Take my word for it. Take my word for it.